Right, so we are here and we want to actually uh, describe the set of points Z in the complex plane that is satisfy the given equations and we have um, A first, that is what we shall do. And so that says the real part of the complex number one plus I Z minus one is identically zero. So to actually solve this particular problem, what do we do? We let z be equal to x plus i y. When that happens, it means uh, the real part of 1 plus i, like this, x plus i y minus 1 is 0. So what does this mean? This means that we have the real part. If you multiply everything, 1 plus x is x, 1 plus i y is i y, x plus that is i x minus y minus 1 equals 0. And so you have x minus y minus 1. Okay. And we put in parentheses like this, plus i into x plus y, and the real, the real part equals zero, and we proceed further more to the other side of the screen. And uh, what do we do here? We are still solving A, and so in solving A, what do we get? We take the real part of this complex number and it is actually x minus y minus one equals zero. And that means y is equal to x minus one. And uh, we shall plot everything, obviously this one. Okay, let's just uh, first uh, uh, include the description here. So what is, what kind of uh, a set is this? So this one is actually a straight line. A straight line. Okay. So and this straight line can be graphed like this in what we call the Argand diagram. We can sketch it. When x is zero, we can see that clearly y is uh, minus one. And uh, obviously you can see that uh, this is the real part of Z and this is the imaginary Z, like so. Okay, so we have exactly this, the imaginary Z. And uh, when Y is zero, X is one. And then we have exactly that. So in the equation of this line is the equation y equals x minus 1. And uh, now seeing that this is the equation, we are able to realize therefore that this is the equation of the um, straight line. And therefore um, this has been sketched in what we call the Agant diagram. Agand diagram. Okay, and therefore this is uh, the result in the straight line where to describe the set of points and that is uh, the straight line there. Okay, next we describe the next one, B on the next slide. All right, so this one we do the same and we let Z be the complex number X plus IY, which means the imaginary of I into X plus I, Y, and we put the complex conjugate like this. We square it equals two, and what is this? This is the marginal part of I into X minus I, Y. Squared equals two. Okay, the complex conjugate changes the sign of the marginal part of the complex number. 
with the major part of okay, if you distribute here is actually ix plus y like this all right and then we take the marginal part of this complex number what is the marginal part the marginal part of the complex number is x So we have this. So x, therefore, is plus or minus the square root of 2. Okay. And uh, now, what is this? How do we describe this? So this describes um, two points. It describes two points. Right. So these are, it means you have that x is the square root of 2 or x equals minus the square root of 2. Okay. And so now as this has been said, what is this? So the description is it describes two points. Describes Okay, describes, or actually it's, the set right, that's fine, set of all points. in the complex plane. Such that X is the square root of two or X is negative. Like this. Right, so what kinds of points are these? So we consider the argon diagram. And in view of the argon diagram, we have the following. Right, we have that this is the marginal z. And this is real z. So if you plot x equals the square root of 2, it is actually a vertical line like this. x equals the square root of 2. A vertical line that passes through the square root of 2. But also here we have the other one. x equals minus the square root of 2. Okay. Like this. Now, and this is the origin. So, you have uh, that this or the, um, this is the graphical representation of the of the set of all points described by this. So this set, or this particular equation describes um, two vertical lines through minus the square root of two or minus or, or plus the square root of two. Okay, and we proceed now to consider the next question. All right. Similarly, when you get to this point, we let Z be X plus IY. And when that happens, minus that, which is minus that. So 
So we have this one. And then the i y here like this. Can you take the square root of this? X squared y minus one. And here we have the square root like this. And we have y squared. You proceed to square both sides. And if you do, showing a little bit more steps here. So you have y minus one, you square this. You square this like this. twice into the square root of x minus one squared that squared like this. And so if you square like this, So now you square this, and then you have this squared, which is four into squared plus y squared. Right, a point further Multiplication of this, you can just uh, write here. So this is exactly x squared plus y squared minus 2y plus 1. Okay, you distribute. This is x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus y squared. Giving us x squared plus y squared minus twice y plus one. 4x squared minus 8x plus four plus four y squared. Okay. Okay, now. Okay, which means you have three x squared. 3x squared, and then obviously because that is 4x squared minus, that is 4x squared minus uh, x squared, so that gives us 3x squared. And then what are we getting then from the rest of these here? Um, you have minus 8 x. Okay, now we have 4y squared minus y squared, which is 3y squared. 3y squared and then plus 2y. And then, okay, we've transposed everything. Okay, but now there is a 4 here. So if need be, you can just uh, you transpose also the one. So that it gives the plus three equals zero. Okay, check carefully. You transpose this x squared to the y squared to two y the one. Okay, upon further division by three. Three plus y squared plus two y over three plus one equals zero. Right, you complete the square without wasting time. So that's gonna be x minus four out of three squared y plus one third like this squared which is eight out of nine. And this describes a circle. 
what can be described as a circle. It is a circle center. Right. It is a circle. Okay, it is a circle center what? Center four thirds and minus one third. This circle is a radius. What is the radius of the circle? It is two to the square root of two over out of three. Okay, and therefore this one you can estimate, uh, which is approximately 0 0.9. Four two eight units. Okay, so that is exactly the radius or the radius is approximately zero point nine four two eight units. And so that is what we get to be the the actual radius of the of the of the circle. So it's that units. Okay. And so you think about this and sort of make sure that you understand these. Make sure that you understand these. All right. And now we just had to describe these a particular sets of points, and we have just done that. Right, so this circle center, you can sketch this is very easy. And uh, now we also have um, the second diagram for these points. And you also have this one here. Here's the, the, um, the straight line, and we've graphed it. Okay, so your it's all good and well. And so thanks everybody, a very good bye to you.